Welcome back to Fort Wayne's Smallest Winter, and once again, I'm joined by the co-founder of the event, Rick Walters. And Rick, we have a special guest, Tiffany Davis, who is one of the contestants. And so far, Tiffany is just tearing it up, kind of talk about what she's done through the first four weeks of this program. Well, um, she's doing exceedingly well. She, after week two, she was in second place. Am I correct? Yes. And now, last week we had some great numbers posted, and I guess she's in fourth place now. But uh, she's doing very, very well and, and put, paying, paying her dues and putting her time in, and, and it's, it's showing. And it's early in the process. We're only a month in, Tiffany. I, I guess my first question is I haven't had the chance to talk to a lot of the contestants a bunch. But the first goal, I think, is at least to say, I want to do this. I mm -hmm. need to lose weight. I want to lose weight. What motivated you to say, I want to be a Fort Wayne Smallest Winter contestant here in 2011? Well, at first you decide that you want to do it, and then you realize that I can't do it on my own. And so knowing that I have to reach out, and this was the appropriate place to reach out to and ask for the appropriate help. And 25 people in there, Rick, let's see now. We've got the Lean Mean Green team. <laughs> we've got Paprika. We've got Camel. I've been working out a lot with Camel. And then we have Blue and we have Pink. And so right now, Green's kind of tearing it up. They're the ones with the targets on their backs? Yes, absolutely. That, uh, three of the, four of the top five? Three of the top four. Three of the top four are from their team. So mm -hmm. they, they apparently have the most figured out so far. But there's a target on their back, and the other teams are saying they won't stay there forever. <laughs> How's the camaraderie been, Tiffany, not only with the green team, but as far as all the participants? Because that's one of the things that I have picked up through the first four weeks. There's a lot of motivation, and everybody there has a positive attitude. And oh, by the way, these workouts are not a joyride. We are at it, I mean without a minute's hesitation, for 60 minutes, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Everybody just seems to have a smile on their face all the time and a great attitude. I think that has to be half the battle. Sure, and it's, it's difficult, you know, first coming to the realization that you need to lose weight and then to now have 25 other people fighting the same battle with you and doing the same workouts and having the same um, eating struggles. So it's, it's always important that we encourage each other and support each other in our, in our personal battles as well as our team battles. And one of the things I've learned, Rick, is, boy, this training is tough. We do it every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 6 to 7 a.m. at Spies. I don't have that much of a problem with it. I'm a morning person. I sense everybody in this group is a morning person because everybody is chipper. But just kind of talk about the workout that you put us through. A lot of cardio, but a lot of constant motion to make sure we get that hard of thumping. But we start slow enough because most people are, are heavy enough that um, it, there's so much weight being carried that we have to be careful for knees and ankles and, and back. So um, we, we grow into the process and, and we have pool time to avoid injuries. But um, well, this morning, I mean, they're so dedicated. I was impressed this morning. I got there at 530 and three fourths of the people were there already starting to exercise. So I think season four is more motivated than any of the previous seasons. And uh, it's very inspiring. I think it is, and you talked about that, and I thought, wow, because that means commitment, which I think is the key. Obviously, the training is a challenge, Tiffany. Talk about just through week one, through day one, and now through week four as we get ready for week five tomorrow, what it's like. What's it been like for you, and are you feeling yourself getting stronger and getting leaner through these programs that old Captain Bly is putting us through here? <laughs> Well, you absolutely feel yourself changing um, externally and mentally. I mean, physically, you, you feel that, okay, at first I couldn't do five minutes on the elliptical, and now I can do 10, and now I'm going to push myself to do 15. And you're willing to do that, and I think that's the biggest thing also because you now have the mental willpower to do so, where maybe in that first week you weren't really mentally strong enough to even realize that you could even do something like that. And Rick, I thought it was interesting because early in the process, one of your contestants from last year who was proud to report to date he's lost 100 pounds, he said to everybody in this year's class, if you follow this program to the letter, it will work. Now obviously the physical training is part of this. Another big part has to be the diet, has to be the nutrition, has to be what you're putting in the hole under your nose and that must really be integral to this whole process. Absolutely and in all honesty that's the hardest part because that's done away from the group on your own 
and that has to be your own struggle, your own commitment. But we're so fortunate this year with Lutheran Hospital on board, they have provided two nutritionists for each team. So that team of five has two people that they can contact via blog, internet, um, and, and many of the trainers are actually working out with them and supporting them so much. So they have the expertise um, to get the best of, of how to eat properly. And like I said, that is really truly the hardest part of maintaining your weight. And in association with the eating with the diet, I know there were contracts that were signed by these participants in this year's class. It's a lifestyle change. No tobacco, no alcohol, so it's the complete deal. I, I call it boot camp in day one. Uh, they do sign a contract committing to no drinking, no alcohol, and it's boot camp. This is, this is not um, where we're a lifestyle change per thing. For 15 weeks, we're ultimately going to hit it as hard as we possibly can and change your life and, and make some new good habits stick. Four weeks down, 11 more to go. Rick, thanks so much. Tiffany, thanks so much. You're looking great, and I'm looking forward Thank to seeing you. where we are 11 weeks from now. And we'll find out where we are with Fort Wayne's smallest winner next month. Be sure to join us.